I'm going to attempt something nobody has ever done before. Some would even say it's impossible. I'm gonna try to go to 25 games in 10 days, from NBA to NFL to World Cup. Let's start by going to 10 NBA games in 50 hours. I couldn't do it by myself, so I had to bring the boys. We're in Sacramento. And we're in Boston. And I am in Utah. Me and the boys are each going to three games. At each game, we're gonna pick which team we think will win. And if we're right, that's the point. And to make things more interesting, we'll pick one player that we think will score the most points. Whoever player scores the most points out of all three teams will earn an extra bonus point. Whoever ends up with the most points goes to the 10th game. With four side seats. We need that, Rizzo, let's go. This is gonna be our hardest challenge yet. Let's go inside. We do not have court side for this game though we are at the top of the arena i do actually know the owner of the utah jazz so i have a master plan for me and trav to upgrade our seats i am with the legend right now ryan smith He's about to give us a tour of the stadium here's our special suite this is kind of where the magic happens it's like so comfy it's like a living room right it's just like a restaurant kitchen yeah right? yeah we say it's the best restaurant in utah right there's coach will what's up what's up what's up youtube <laughs> what's up man how you doing good to yeah, meet you yeah, yeah, yeah. you guys know i'm an nba arena connoisseur I think this is the nicest suite I've been in. It's a great symbol. Oh, yeah. What's, what's good? Buddy? How you doing? Yeah. Great. Doing good? Just call him what's up. Right now. What? <laughs> what just happened? You got Dave Fisdell. He's in our front office. They had a Jesser. We got YouTube going here. How you doing? Fantastic. We have the GOAT. We have Danny. the GOAT. You're on YouTube. <laughs> Dude, we're just going everywhere. We've now made it to the court. The Bucks are warming up right now. Guys, my coach is down there. What's up, man? That's my coach. Hey, coach one of our players. Hello, I got the hey. dub for him. <laughs> yes, sir. Ryan, I got a proposal. All right, I'm ready Shot for, for you. shot, top of the key. If I win, you gotta upgrade my seats. Okay. <laughs> Ryan did beat Dwayne Wade oh, in the geez. shooting contest, so it's no joke. Oh, I'm nervous. Yes, record time. I mean, if you throw a jersey in there, I'll risk my, my Who's seat. jersey you want? Marketing. Marketing? Yeah. Okay. Then you got to go back up. That's a bet. That's a bet. It's worth it. Couple or nothing. I'm confident. You go first? I'll go first. Yes! All the price. Oh! I'm done. I'm out. I'm taking my win. Look how close we are. This is insane. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Guys, look who we ran into. It is the man, Colin Sexton. What's good? How are you recovering? I'm doing good. Doing good. After the game, we might have hey, to shoot a little you bit. You did say you'd beat me 11 0, but I think if we played right now, I'd win. No, I, I'm no, no. I'm not <laughs> injured. I'm not injured all the way. I ain't losing <laughs> at all. Me and the boys are going to try to get a high five from every single jazz player. They're about to walk out right here. They got that side. I got this side. Let's get these high fives. Sure. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go. We did it! Yes! Oh, we're not done. <laughs> like, who is this grown man asking for i <laughs> We're so close to the court. I think I might get some of their sweat on me. This is absurd. Like, we're supposed to be at the top of the stadium. We ended up down here. Along with the courtside seats, I got my jersey! Yes, sir! Our first challenge for each game is we have to predict the winner of the game for a point. Who do you think is going to win? I'll go with your bet. I got to say the Bucks. We got Giannis here. For our second challenge, we're competing with all the other guys. We have to pick a player from our game who we think is going to score the most points. We know who to pick. Yeah, I think you got to pick Giannis. Yeah. He's going for 50. All right, we just made it to our seats. Obviously, we're going for the Celtics right here. You know, we got to buy some jerseys. But we got to figure out which player will score the most. I think Tatum. I'll go Tatum. Let's go Tatum. Let's go. Who do we think is going to win this game? We need to get a point here. My vote is with the Kings. we got to light the beam. I'm going with the Kings too. Light the beam. Light the beam. Who are we predicting is going to score the most points? We need to get that bonus point. This is easy. We're geniuses. I feel like he's going to go off tonight. De'Aaron Fox is the obvious answer. Leading and scoring, so we're going De'Aaron Fox, right? Swipe with the agreed, Fox. Agreed, agreed. De'Aaron, you got to help us win yes, this. Please. I saw you smack the shoes out of Jesse's hand. You're going to smack the win out of Jesse's hand right now Exactly. Too. you got to smack that. the layup. Okay, Giannis, I see you. This is what we need. We need Giannis to score. All right, it is just out of halftime. Jason Tatum is on a heater. He's got 26 points already. Six. 
I think he might get 40. I think we'll win the first game of player points. Oh. There's no way someone gets more than that. No, there's no way. Oh, good pass. Oh, he's a, oh. Three pointer. Yeah. Bang! The Air Fox has 13 points. It's the start of the second half. So if he doubles it, 26 points. Oh, that's, that's, solid. Pretty, that's pretty that's solid. Bad. We also need the Kings to win as a point, right? Yeah, I want them to light the beat. The goal of the game is to get on the Jumbotron and make the other boys jealous. Bucks have 108 points. This is extremely high scoring. Giannis got 22 right now. The man that with the Celtics are up. 17 points right now. 10 minutes to go in the game. We need the Pacers to come back so Jason Tatum can get more points. Because he has 26 right now, but I think the winner is going to have over 30. So we need them to catch back up. We need at least 40. Come on, Tatum. Come on, Pacers. All right, guys. Apparently, our tickets have club access. We're going to see what that is. No idea what to expect. You're just walking down this way. Here are the amenities of the club lounge access. They've got unlimited candy. They have endless food and all the drinks you'd ever desire. We hit the jackpot. <laughs> the Kings are down by 10 right now. It's not, not, not looking, looking good. good. It's not looking good, bro. We did not know we were getting this. Hey, we're living it good right now. I yes. Hope, I hope that the other teams are having just as much fun. Let's take a break from the action because I want to give a big thank you to SoFi for sponsoring the next portion of this video. SoFi is letting me announce some major news. SoFi is now the official bank of the NBA. Why? That's right. The next generation of banking is joining the league to help fans to get their money right. We are going to be partnering together all season long, and we have some really exciting stuff on the way. The ever-changing nature of both basketball and banking, driven by innovation, adds an exciting dimension to this partnership. Let's talk about why banking with SoFi is amazing. I love SoFi's checking and savings because you can earn more money on your money. Up to 4.6% APY on your savings, which is 10x the national average savings rate. That deserves the fire. That's amazing. When you bank with SoFi, in just five weeks, the money sitting in your savings account is earning more money than you would in one year with a big bank's savings account with direct deposit. You can get paid up to two days early, pay no accountant fees, and cash in on up to $300 when you sign up with a direct deposit. The best part of this partnership, SoFi is running the zero giveaway sweepstakes all season long. Each week, someone will get $10,000. That's insane. Just click the link in my description or scan the QR code on screen to enter for a chance to win. It's right here. Thank you so much, SoFi. Let's go to more games. That might have been the most awkward 40 seconds of my life. If you don't know me, you're a new viewer to this channel. I'm extremely awkward, generally shy person. I'm not good at dancing. I feel like I have no rhythm, bro. I was just like, <laughs> that was on the Jumbotron. You just go like. <laughs> I tried, y'all. It's currently the fourth quarter. The Kings are up by six. The issue is De'Aaron Fox has not been playing since the third quarter. He played for like two minutes in the third quarter, 19 points, and I don't even see him on the bench right now. He's gone. He's, he's just, gone. He's gone home. I don't think we're going to have enough points with 19. Yeah. This is a severe blowout. 140 to 108. There's about two minutes left in the game. Giannis hasn't really been playing since they've been up by so much, so I don't think we're going to win the scoring. the Jazz for just hooking me up, letting me do all these cool things, having me sit courtside. This is absurd. Like, that was so much fun being able to shoot the cannon. That was awesome. Celtics won this game. 120 to 95. Easy work. How much did Jason Tatum get? 34. 34. I think that's enough for us to win that. Great game, and I think we're getting two points for sure. On to the next. Rizzo, you know what? I feel like we've won. This is Rizzo's second or third NBA game. We've had a lounge. We've had amazing seats. We've had amazing food. It's been a dream. Have you had a good time? I've had a great time. I've had a great time. Yeah. Game over. Light the beam! Light the beam! Light the beam! Just us hanging out with the B. 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 
one beam means one point for us. Hey. Giannis didn't really play in the four, so we ended with 22 points. We're definitely not getting a challenge point there, but the Bucks did win, so we do get one point. One point closer to sitting courtside again. I don't want to leave courtside. I don't either. I don't either. We need to experience this again. Our next game to go to is across the country, all of the way in Miami, and we have to go to the airport right now. We got an early start tomorrow. We got a flight to catch. So, yes. Yeah. You better wake up. I mean, I will. I'm gonna set my alarm. Made it to the airport. Now we got a late night flight all the way to Miami. I can't wait to just chill on the beach. We've made it to Miami. Guys, look who we found. We have found James. We are at South Beach right now. We have a couple hours till the game starts. So we thought we'd enjoy the city. Look at the view, immaculate. Man, we're just vibing out right now. I think the other guys are. The outside the buoy, or the police are coming. Damn. This might be the best NBA trip ever. Usually I'm literally game, airplane, game, airplane. But today we got free time, man. The water's looking beautiful. I wonder what the other boys are up to right now, because I'm living good. We woke up super late. Uh, we've got 10 minutes until the gate closes. We have to get there now. Go, go, go. <laughs> It is 10.25, our flight takes off at 10.30. We think we're on the right direction to our gate, but we've never been to this airport. So, <laughs> hopefully we make it on time. <laughs> but if we do, we'll see you in Atlanta. Just landed in Denver. We've got 40 minute Uber drive to our hotel and the game starts in one hour. Why are we cutting it so close on time? I know, this is not good. So we're in Atlanta, in a Ferris wheel. We have extra time, so we decided to go on this Ferris wheel. Very romantic for us, you know? So we have about 30 minutes till the game starts. We got the Hawks and the Pacers. Mm -hmm. Me personally, the Pacers got more to play for, so I think the Pacers are gonna win. Pacers it is. Pacers it is. And we have made it to the Heat Arena. We are here two hours before tip-off. We're gonna try to go inside, see if we can get early access, see if we can try to get down to the court, who knows? But we gotta make a prediction for this game, so I'm predicting the upset. Brooklyn's taking home the W. We need to predict the player's gonna score the most points. Who are you thinking? Uh, I think I think Mikhail Bridges might go off today. You know what? We'll take it. We're making our way over to the game. We've got about 20 minutes until it starts. Should get a move on. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> we gotta get these points. We need I to think, get the double points today. Yeah, I think we're losing to Johnny and Efron by one point. Yeah. And then we're tied with Jesse and Trav, so <laughs> first we gotta get to the game or we lose. <laughs> <laughs> the Heat have hooked me up with a media pass ever since I played in the celebrity game. Life has been on a different level out here. We're gonna be getting hooked up right now. We're in the arena early, we're about to go down to the court. I'm pumped. Stepped onto the court. Let's go. If Tyler Hero makes this three, I'm buying his jersey. I'm buying his jersey. <laughs> we have stumbled upon the press room. This is where they do their post-game press conferences. We're gonna go back here when they're doing it, so that should be super cool, but I feel like I have to go up there. I gotta say something. This is what it feels like when you drop 40 points, then everyone's asking you all the questions. Is everyone wondering? I'm not leaving Bucket Squad. I'm staying here. So LeBron, have you tried on the shoes since you've gotten them? No? That's disappointing. I should be an honorary member of the High Five Club. Yes, sir. <laughs> I feel like I need to be part of that. I'm gonna restrain myself. I'm not gonna go for any high fives this time. I got enough in Utah. Are you proud of me? I'm very proud. <laughs> you were strong. <laughs> It is time for the player introductions. Those things are about to literally breathe fire like a dragon. I'm excited. Oh, you can feel the heat from the flames. Three, two, one. We have made it to the Hawks arena. We gotta figure out who's gonna score the most points. I saw Tyrese Halliburton yesterday, so I feel like he's gonna go off today. So we'll see. Alrighty, we are here in our seats, and it is actually even better than last time. Wow, these are the best seats I've had in my whole life. Oh yeah, hands down. Big so, shout out to the NBA for hooking us up. Yes, NBA, we love you. Who are we picking? We need two points here. We gotta go with the Bucks. So for our top scorer, we're gonna go for Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday. I feel he's got a decent chance of getting a lot of points. The obvious answer is Giannis, but I heard that he did not play the fourth quarter when Jesse's game was. 
so he might sit out the fourth quarter here too if it's a good game. I'm a man of my word, boys. I'm getting the Tyler Hero jersey. And this is so fire, bro. This is one of my favorite jerseys in the NBA. So they're gonna put me on the Jumbotron. I'm gonna be sat right there and then all the cheerleaders are gonna be behind me. But this time, I don't have to dance. <laughs> Let's go. It's my moment! I'm so excited! I got it! Trey Young just got ejected from the game. <laughs> oh my god. 84 84. Literally, either team could win if he got ejected in the third quarter. Bro. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate for the Hawks. Yeah, bad for the Hawks. <laughs> oh, yeah, Giannis, Giannis with the. Oh! Giannis makes it so easy. He just dunked it with, without any effort. Oh, yeah, we got shoot it. He's yeah, going to make it another one. Oh, he's, he's back to the, oh, another hey. three. Another, another three. Heat check. Bam! 18 points for the ball. Hey. Hey. We need you to score. Passes in. Shrews. Bang! Let's go. Shrews, back to back threes. Ah! He's on fire. We have made it to our seats. Spot James. Apparently he's courtside, so let's check in with him. I don't know where Jesse's sitting at, but your boy is sitting courtside at this game. And we got a beautiful view. Going into the fourth quarter, the Heat have 87, the Nets have 104. Hey, good prediction on the Nets. Yeah, I see you. We're pretty confident the Nets are gonna win, so we'll get our point there, but we need Bridges to keep going off. He's got 22 right now. If he could get to 30, I'd be confident we get the two points this time. The Pacers, we picked them because they lost by so much against the Celtics yesterday, and Tyrese Halliburton doesn't have that many points, so I don't think we're gonna get either point. Unfortunate! The Hawks have won 114, 130. We got zero points for this. I hope the rest of the guys did not get any points at all. Bridges end with 27. We beat Efron and Johnny's team. Now we just have to beat Rizzle and Jeff to get the two points. Pretty sure that's gonna put us in the lead. <laughs> All hope of winning any points today has gone out the window. Drew Holiday is going to end the night with how many points, Rizzo? Nine. Nine points. Why didn't we pick Giannis? Giannis is currently on 31 points. That might have won us the round. Yeah, if we would have chose Giannis, we would have won today. But there's no way to win being down 22 points. I don't think we're going to the final game. And the Nets have won by 29 points. They have two blowouts back to back. We're gonna try to go to the press room. So, I, I, I would say, uh, I, I don't know. You know, we have not been defending at, uh, at a world class level the way we're capable of. <sighs> that was so intense, I can finally breathe. I've never been in a more quiet room in my life. Library voices only. With the heat losing, bro, the vibes in there were just completely off. It was too intense. We're leaving. I don't want to see the next press conference. Wait, how you doing, boss? That's my captain right there. Ron, good to see you again. So we've come away from this game with a grand total of zero points. We're going to head back to the hotel. We've got an early flight in the morning. This flight is two hours earlier than our flight this morning that we already almost We missed. were already late for the last yeah. one. We're exhausted from traveling. I don't understand how yeah. Jesse used to do this in the past. It is the end of the night and the scores are in from the team. So Rizzle and Jeff have a score of one. Let's go. Johnny and Efron have a score of two and we have a score of three. Let's go. We're going to the fourth and final game. We're sitting courtside. The reason we start the competition after two games because we have to figure out flights, tickets for the final game so we're gonna figure that out right now where we're going for our fourth and final game and where we'll sit courtside baby in the morning though we leave to charlotte for the hornets mavs game it's super early in the morning we are at the airport about to head to charlotte and we have figured out the situation for the fourth and final game we're gonna go to charlotte watch the hornets game right when the game ends we're heading back to the airport to go back to florida but this time we're going to Orlando. We're supposed to get there 10 minutes before the game starts, but it's a 30 minute drive to the airport. So we have a car service ready to pick us up the moment we get there. We'll probably get to the game after the first quarter starts. And if the flight gets delayed, maybe we might miss the first half. But if it really gets delayed, we could miss the entire game and fail the entire challenge. And our flights have been delayed multiple hours on these types of videos so many times. So we literally are just praying for the best, but this could all go wrong. We're off to the airport. Guess what? 
somehow we're late again. We're only we're not too late this time though. Yeah, so it's not as bad as last time. There's a storm! There's a huge storm on the east coast right now. Hopefully our plane takes off. This is gonna be a huge problem if it gets delayed because we're supposed to get to San Francisco like with an hour before our game starts. So if we get delayed more than like 30, 45 minutes, I don't know if we're gonna make it. And we have made it to Charlotte, but boys, I have bad news. Look up in the sky. A storm is literally on its way. Johnny and Efron are stuck in it. We're supposed to leave this game to go back to Orlando, but if a thunderstorm is here, our plane is definitely gonna get delayed and we're already supposed to be late for the Orlando game, so I literally have no idea what's gonna happen. Oh, I'm getting really nervous. If we cannot complete this video because of a thunderstorm, I'm gonna be so sad. We came all the way, we literally walked 20 minutes, we're at gate A21. Our gate changed to B21, so there's another 20 minutes walk back. Yeah, and it's also delayed 40 minutes now. Are we gonna make our game, Rizzo? It's gonna be a very tight one now because we had time on the other yeah. side, now we don't. All right, we made it to the airport. 12.30, fly board at one. one. And uh, security line is long. The Uber driver told us there's no chance we're making this flight. He said literally no chance. All right, we have made it to our seats. We have an amazing Dr. I actually really like Charlotte's Arena. It's pretty dope. And we get to see Luca play. Literally right there. The legend. If only he was wearing the shoes we gave him. <laughs> Imagine, that would be crazy. I've actually never seen him play in person. Every time I've gone to a Mavs game, he's been injured. I'm super excited. I think we're gonna have to leave in the fourth quarter though. We've already won the fourth game, but I'm just gonna predict Mavericks winning and Luca with the most points we did it uber driver was wrong he doubted us but we knew deep down inside we great timing great timing we're stuck in heavy traffic now we have 30 minutes until the game starts mm -hmm. and we're about 30 minutes away mm -hmm. still from the lockers back, yeah. yeah it's not looking good chief all right luca with the ball spin move Ooh. three pointer Oh, Dude, this is getting kind of bad for the Mavs. Hornets up by 11 in the first. We made it to the Chase Center. We got the Warriors versus the Timberwolves. Who do you think's gonna win? You already know. We got the Warriors winning this. Obviously, we got the Warriors winning this thing. We have made it to our seats. It is pretty good. Um, these these are pretty nice. Who's gonna score the most? We need this. Since I'm wearing Curry's jersey, I'm going for Curry scoring the most points. I'm down with that. We just pulled up to the game. I said we go with the Thunder and choose the Thunder to win. You want to see a magic trick? Hit me. Boom! Now, if you ever see Trav in public, just ask him to hit you and you might get a jersey. Got the LaMelo jersey. It's crazy, man. I remember back in my day, playing at him at the local gym. Don't sleep on me. I could have made it to the league, too. Luca, top of the key. Oh. Halftime, the Hornets are up by seven points. Beluga hit four threes in a row. Man's is heating up. It looks like we gotta dip back to the airport in about 30 minutes. I'm still nervous our flight's gonna get delayed. Oh! Next Maverick bucket, we have to go. All right, Luca, send us home. Passes it, corner three. All right, we gotta dip. I don't wanna miss this flight, boys. We gotta go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> we're out. Where is the car? Oh, we're on the wrong side of the stadium. Are you serious? This way. I will not miss my flight. Walking onto the plane right now. There was no delay. So next stop, Orlando. We were finally right. Yes. Thunder. I've taken it home. And guess what? It's raining for the thunder. For the thunder. But yeah, we're heading home. I hope Jesse's having a sick time at the final game. This is Jeff and Rizzle. Check it out. Check it out. We have made it to Orlando. The storm literally passed right by, so we were able to get here with no delay. And Luca ended up dropping 40 points, but they lost the game. So it looks like we're gonna get to the Orlando game right around the first quarter. I'm excited. All right, boys, I'm watching the game. There is 10 minutes left in the second quarter. It is a one-point game. We're about five minutes away. I'm hyped. We're literally courtside. This is gonna be sick. I think I see our seats because I see two empty seats courtside. So they're waiting for us. And I have made it inside of the arena. The game is going on. We're literally here. Five minutes left in the second quarter, boys. Check out these seats. These are the 
the best seats in the entire house. Let's go. And this is officially game number 10, boys. Apparently, they're going to have me shoot a half-court shot to win someone $500. Guys, I don't know how to describe this, but it's surreal. It like, is crazy. You hear everything they say. I feel like they're going to run into me. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to sub in. <laughs> Loki, I hope someone falls on us. I don't think he heard you. He heard me for sure. Alright guys, this is my moment. <laughs> I feel a little nervous with this thing. <laughs> Shout out to the Magic, bro. They're hooking me up right now. Appreciate y'all, man. That was so fun. Bro, you are hooping out there. God. That was crazy. Bro, how you been? Bro, I've been fantastic. We just went to 10 NBA games in 50 hours. Damn. <laughs> yeah, this is our final stop. I didn't go to all of them, though. I'm about to say, I don't know how you make that many games. Yeah, it's not possible. So you were hooping, right? And I was like, this dude is nice, but I couldn't help but think, like, I could take you one on one. <laughs> in a three point contest. <laughs> There's a little asterisk there. We can set that up. Okay, it's going down we this make summer. 1v1, let's do it. Appreciate oh, you. Appreciate you guys. We've already completed 10 games. Now I'm gonna have 100 hours to get to eight World Cup games. It is the World Cup, and in the next 100 hours, I'm gonna be attempting to go to eight different games. The first stadium's right there. Let's go. We have made it to our seats. Our seats are incredible, actually unreal. This is the most craziest thing I've ever been to. Thank you, man, thank you. Yes. At each World Cup game, we're gonna guess who the winner is. Whoever gets more right at the end of eight games wins a thousand to the team store. I got Qatar to winning. I, I was gonna pick Ecuador, I got Ecuador. And the match has officially started. Now, boys, I'm not allowed to record the pitch, but if anything crazy happens, I'm gonna recreate it in FIFA for y'all. Fine cross into the middle. After Ecuador's fantastic goal, we're gonna go look for some food. Every store's menu does have a hot dog, so it should be easy, right? Can I get a hot dog? No hot dog? One dude? Can I get a hot dog? Do you have hot dog? No, sorry. Ah, Did no one has one hot dog. <laughs> Their menus are lying to me. Can I order a hot dog? No? Can I get two hot dogs? We got the hot dog, let's go. I missed the second Ecuador goal for the hot dog, but here we go. I give the hot dog a three out of 10. <laughs> Ecuador has taken the W and boys the video is only gonna get crazier We're gonna see Messi play Ronaldo play and we got VIP seats you literally cannot buy from YouTube That's gonna be insane. So stay tuned next up Iran versus England. Let's go Today is day two ladies and gentlemen, we are here for England versus Iran. It's going down the stadium we are at is called the Khalifa International. This is the one stadium that hasn't been built for the World Cup. Got some England fans down there. So good! So good! Right now I'm up 1-0. Who are you predicting? Bro, England. All right, I'm taking Iran since you got England. All right, fair enough. Bets. What are you going to do, Ronaldo? I'm coming at you. Oh, oh my god. And game number two is about to start. It is started. I know I got Iran, but it's still coming home. It's fun to say. <laughs> the seats we have once again are absolutely beautiful seats. Insane. Do you have anything to say? Go England! <laughs> Passionate England fan right there.
Score recap, 2-0. Yeah. Looks like Ethan's gonna win. At least I'm already up one, so we'll be tied up. We'll be tied. Boys, I have very disappointing news. The concession stand is the exact same, but we're gonna try something new at every stadium. Okay, so we got the spinach wrap. They didn't have the chicken shawarma. <laughs> I'm gonna give that a one out of 10. It's kind of fishy a little bit. The aftertaste. dominated that game six to one. Now the Wales versus US game is tonight. So we're about to rush to the car so we can make it there, drive to the next stadium and go to that game. Let's go. Go, go, go. We're running for the United States of America, baby. Oh, yeah. It's coming home, baby. And we have made it to the USA versus Wales game. It's the game I'm most excited for. USA, we're taking it. We're gonna win the World Cup for the first time. Just watch. Don't doubt us and then we're calling it soccer and everyone in the world will call it soccer. Let's go. I believe that we will win. We have made it to our seats. This has to be the best seats we have yet. We are so close to the field. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. All right, so we got the chicken shawarma. Y'all already know in these going to games videos, we always have to try all the food. So far, it's been um, horrendous. I have high expectations for this. It looks promising. Cheers. Cheers. It's decent. It's edible. I'm gonna finish this. For real though, shout out for you two hooking us up. I mean, look how close we are. This is absurd. I mean, look. <laughs> USA! 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 I'm hyped, bro. We're tied 1-1 on the predictions. You won the last one, so I get to pick first. Team USA. I guess I go Will. And the winner at the end gets 1,000 to the team store. Destroying. Can I get a match prediction? 3-2 USA. That's what I'm talking about, baby. 3-2 USA. I believe in that, too. Boys, we're going to try to start a chain. 1, 2, two three. 3. USA! 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 Uh, okay, we try it, <laughs> We try. Let's go! Oh my god. USA is on the attack! He passes it in! It ended in a tie, but this last turn out because that's not a nice score. USA! 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 You know what the good news is? What? Tomorrow we see Messi play. Let's Next go. game! It is time to see Messi play. That is the Lucille Stadium. That's actually where the finale is going to be played. I'm excited to see it. But the game is literally about to start. Of course, I'm representing USA. Let's go see Messi. I can hear screaming from the stadium. I think a goal has already been scored. We are a bit late. Did you hear the scream? Yeah, dude. Wait, who you got winning? You get to pick this one? I get to oh, pick this bro. one. <laughs> I got Argentina winning. You got Saudi Arabia then? I think I'm taking an L. <laughs> <laughs> They're all cheering again. It better not be Argentina 2-0 when we walk in. Y'all are uncultured. Sitting right next to me is the biggest Middle Eastern female YouTuber, North Star. Who do you have winning? Saudi Arabia. Of course. Yeah. Let's go. I'm right there too. Back in the day when I played soccer, they used to call me Messi. Messi, really? Messi, Jesse. Oh, nice. true. What do they call you? Uh, they call me the best. You call me the best. My mom. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it to our seats. It comes with a complimentary sun hat. Argentina's up 2-0. The seats are absolutely insane. No goal! 
Let's go! I have to root for Saudi Arabia. Not by choice. I do want to see Messi score, though. Not gonna lie, I'm feeling an upset today. It's only 1-0. Argentina fans are going strong. There are so many here. They really represent. Like, they go crazy. Oh! Ah, oh, nothing happened, nothing happened. False alarm. Danger here as he runs at them. Can he finish? Let's go! Oh, wow! Saudi Arabia scored! You were not expecting that! The shot off. Yeah, Saudi Arabia. Another one! Back, bro. I did not expect this at all. Saudi Arabia is up two to one. What? Out of all the games you've gone to, Argentina fans are the most happy. Nothing's even happening right now. And they're all standing. And Saudi Arabia has won upset of the tournament so far. Hands down. That was crazy. The prediction was they had a 0.6% chance to win. And they did it against all odds. Wow. Argentina fans are in shambles. So we have a decent amount of time until our next game, which is the VIP experience. So are, are you, you thinking, thinking what I'm thinking? thinking? time for Germany versus Japan and we have VIP tickets baby this is a very strict dress code so we came to impress we look great no we look fantastic I feel like a superstar right now if you're wondering how we actually got the VIP tickets YouTube shorts brought us out here and they are an official sponsor of the FIFA World Cup so that's how we got it there's gonna be like diplomats there rich dudes crazy people and da us David YouTubers. Beckham probably maybe David Beckham Barack Obama you never know Charles D'Amelio <laughs> <laughs> with the VIP tickets they even had a VIP entrance the VIP they got the red carpet experience so nice I really feel like a superstar walking down the red carpet right now how you feel <laughs> like a superstar <laughs> <laughs> This is ridiculously nice. I don't know how we ended up here. Guys, it literally feels like some Squid Game stuff right now. Yeah. Like, that's literally how it feels. I feel like when I laugh too in here, it's like a... Oh. I'm getting sick of embarrassment with this guy. <laughs> this is probably the most bougie experience at a sports game I've ever had in my entire life. And I've been to a lot of sports games. We actually had a massive lunch before this. So we're just gonna have some dessert. Yeah. Give it a taste test, because the stadium food. No, it is a coconut flan. Ew. So elegant. Looks pretty sus. I'm down. Mmm. <laughs> it's like jello. What do you give it? 8 out of 10. 8 honestly. out of 10. 8 out of 10, honestly. Oh, it's Whoa. warm. A little dipping sauce. <laughs> That's a 10. Best thing I've had at a stadium. <laughs> so elegant. And game number five starts in 3, 2, 1. I'm up two to one right now, to one. and you picked first last time. So this time I'm going first, and I'm picking Germany to win. Ooh, I got to go Japan. Go Japan, Japan, let's go. Let's go. Anything can happen. Japan fans going hard over there, bro. Respect. The seat's comfort level, 10 out of 10, bro. 10 out of 10. Look at this. Arm rest. Are you serious right now? We can take a nap here if we want to. That's how comfortable this is. 10 out of 10. The view from our seat, incredible as well. Bro, these poor Japan fans think they scored, but it's offside. <laughs> I hate myself. I don't like I, I don't like VIP like Jesse. <laughs> I don't know what to do, guys. I can't help it. I'm in VIP. <laughs> there is a Germany penalty kick right now. Let's go. Uh, it might be 1-0. Please miss. Please miss. Here we go. Ah!
goodness. This game has been incredible. Everyone went to the bathroom. He missed it. No! Come on, Germany! I missed it. This is beautiful. Last strike of the game. Moment of truth. Oh! Crazy. Big up, big up. We have to leave about right now to make our next game. So we gotta go. Let's go. We probably got an injury. We riders fast, boys. We cannot miss the next game. Well, we've made it back to the car, boys. We are about to head straight to the Canada versus Belgium game. It's about hour and a half drive. We should make it. Hopefully we'll arrive on time. We might be a little late, but we're skirted. And really cool, they actually gave us this gold card souvenir. This is insane. On the back, it says group match 11, Germany versus Japan, 23rd of November. That is sick. Like the VIP section is so extra. That was one of the most incredible experiences. Shout out to you two for hooking it up. Now to Canada. Not the country, but the game. It's about to start. Go, 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 go. We made it, baby. Made it. Pull it up. Tired. Yes, sir. And this has to be our best seats yet. I mean, other than the VIP, obviously. Yeah, other than the, honestly, <laughs> seat-wise, though, these are better, bro. We're literally two away from the front. All right, so, you get to pick. Uh, Belgium. You're picking Belgium? Yep. All right, I'm taking Canada, our neighboring country. Let's go, Let's Canada. Go, baby. Let's go! <laughs> Canada, give me some. Bang! Let's go, Belgium. Yo, man. Let's go. Let's go. It's going down. The last two games have been huge upsets. So, hey, maybe three in a row. Three in a row. Three upsets in a row. Maybe. Game number six is officially started. Woo! Canada penalty kick right here. We have Courtois on goal. So, uh, that's a good nice? sign. He's really nice. Bro, Far. it's upset season out here. Oh, it's Canada upset. We're about to go. This dude really thinks he can save it. Oh, he's, he's ready. He's ready. Oh, he saves it! He yeah. saves it! Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! No! Bro, that was the first penalty we've seen saved. Yeah. Why? That's why he only has the measure of his man. A goal! Belgium with the goal! Yeah! Bro, Canada has been on their head all game, and yeah. we're all of a sudden. Out of nowhere! All of a sudden, all of a sudden. Canada took the L. Let's go. We got two more games tomorrow. And the finale, final game is Ronaldo. So stay oh, tuned, boys. Let's go. And we've made it game seven. Switzerland versus Cameroon. We've also made it to a brand new stadium. New location has been discovered. Efron is currently up three to two. I get to pick, and I got Switzerland. Good choice, good choice. I got Cameroon. We've made it. Let's go. But we're in the sun. We are in the sun. We're gonna yes. get sunburn. Let's go. Very pasty. Let's go. This is the view from our seat. Again, insane seats. Boys, we're gonna have to leave at halftime to make the Portugal game. I say so far out of all the games we've gone to, this is the most mellow, most chill atmosphere. Exactly, yeah. I wonder why. People. That's why. That's why, yeah. yeah. So far it's been an even game. Yeah. Uh, zero, zero. Both had chances. We have a few more minutes till the half and we gotta go. It got to halftime and nothing happened, but right as we left, Switzerland scored. So that was hype. Now let's head to the last game. We made it! Stadium 974 out here. It's basically it's been made with shipping containers. So you can take it apart after the World Cup. And this stadium looks insane. Ronaldo time. And we cannot forget Switzerland ended up winning 1-0, so we're tied. We're tied. Three to three. Damn. It's okay. your pick though. This is the final game. Portugal versus Ghana. This is who decides who wins the whole video. So I'm gonna pick Portugal because I'm part Portuguese. Okay. So I have to pick Portugal. Also Ronaldo, that's why. All right, I got Ghana. Let's go. Upset time, baby. It's been happening all World Cup. We've made it to our seats. This is the view from our seats. Fire. Big ups to Ghana and Portugal. Both of their fan bases are crazy. They're showing all out. It's going to be a historic game. 
Boys, at halftime, it is 0-0. Portugal has had most of the control of the game, but you never know, it just takes one goal from Ghana. Congratulations, won the predictions. Portugal won three to two. Of course, thank you, Ronaldo, for that penalty. So the team story here really is not it. So the items that Ron picks are popping up on the screen right now from online. 18 games down, seven more to go. Now let's see if I can go to an NBA game, NFL game, MLB game, all in the span of 24 hours. In the next 24 hours, I'll be going to an MLB, NFL, and NBA game. And the first game is right behind us for the World Series of Baseball. We got the Astros versus the Phillies. Let's go. At each of the games, we're gonna be ranking the experience. So we have stadium, fans, food, seats, and overall experience. And at the end, we'll decide what was the best experience of the three. Baseball should have an advantage because this is the World Series. So the fans should be super high. Atmosphere should be amazing. This is amazing, bro. They have a horse. If the other stadiums don't have a horse, I'm already disappointed. Because it's the World Series, they got this whole like pre-game area set up for all the fans to go vibe out. I like the vibes here. Touchdown. Home run. Damn it. Interception. <laughs> ah! Go Phillies. <laughs> go Phillies. <laughs> hey, <it's all> right. <laughs> I'm catching these Astro fans in 4K, bro. Name one player on the Phillies. Phil. I'm a baseball casual, and I'm not gonna lie about Phil it. Phil the Phillies. <laughs> Thank you. Are you kidding me? Balloon hats for free. This is awesome. We've made it to our seats, bro. The stadium is sick. It's indoors, but apparently the roof is retractable. That's pretty sick. And I gotta say, the leg room is solid. Like my yeah. knees are not touching right here. And the cup holders. So I'm gonna give that a W. Cup holders as well. And we got a perfect view of the Jumbotron. Oh, I like that. Seats, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I'm gonna give it a four and a half because the only way it could be better is if we're down there. I, mean, I can tell you a lot of ways it could be better, but I don't want to be like <laughs> that guy. Because he could have a cushion, you know. Oh, true. You know what I'm saying? A little bit I'll more I'll give it a four room. then, that's a good point. <laughs> but it's still great. I'm gonna give it a four and a half. It's a nice Four and a half? Yeah, nice view. Yeah, yeah Travis is our go-to. He's been to a lot of baseball games. This is one of my first ever baseball games. Cool. down by the field watching the players warm up right now. And honestly, I didn't know what to expect, but this is a beautiful stadium. Did you say it's an elegant stadium? I thought it felt smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Philly's fan. Philly's fan. Okay, <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. <laughs> The stadium score officially gets minus one point for these tight hallways. We need bigger hallways. We're gonna start the chant. Let's go Astros! Let's go Astros! Uh, <laughs> Look how many people there are, y'all. No one wants to chant. 
baseball is known for their glizzies, and that is a crazy looking thing. So we're gonna get that. So next up, we're gonna be rating the food. Got the Crawford dog. This thing looks insane. I got a pretzel, plastic, and chicken strips and fries. I got a review it for everybody. Yeah, see, I feel like if you get that at every stadium, you can really know who has the best one. That's it. Okay, off rip. I wish the bun was toasted, but it is what it is. This thing is crazy. This is bussin'! This is so good. It smacks, it slaps, it's bussin'. I'm gonna give it a five. That's good. Yeah! That's what I'm saying. I think that might be a five. This is a two and a half. This is mid. Two and a half? Mid. The first pitch has been thrown. The 24 hour timer starts right now. Boys, I realize I haven't even told you the game plan. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to leave in about an hour to catch the last flight out of here to Los Angeles to go to the Rams game and then the Lakers game. Kinda sad we can't watch the whole game, but we're gonna enjoy it while we can. For Jesse. Hello. I'm honestly not sure if we're gonna make the flight, but I'm gonna finish doing my reviews. Stadium, honestly, I'm gonna give it a three. It was hard to get around. The fans are crazy, and they were really nice. So I'm gonna give them a five. Overall experience, honestly, I'm not a biggest fan of the sport of baseball. It's kind of boring to me, so I gotta give it a three. Personal preference, though. It is very boring, that's why I stopped playing. Uh, <laughs> stadium, 3.5, and it's very nice looking, at least. Fans, I mean, they were cool. Three and a half as well. <laughs> Overall, I think it's a 3.75. Stadium was a little claustrophobic, but it was nice. I'm go with a four. Um, the fans were crazy. <laughs> yeah. I'm also going for a four. Dude, everyone in our section stood the entire time. <laughs> Overall, I'll give it a four. It's a World Series game. Now we'll see if we make it back to LA. Oh, oh my God. Where is everyone? The next, the next one? The next one. <laughs> Boys, we made it on the flight. Next stop, SoFi Stadium. And we are here in Los Angeles for game number two, Rams versus 49ers. It's a rivalry game in the SoFi Stadium. It's a new stadium. It costs $5 billion and it sits a little over 100,000 people. I'm pumped up. I got the Rams winning today. Who you got? Give me the Niners. Who you got, Trav? I got the Rams. The Rams, let's go. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> It's getting heated in the parking lot already. I can feel the tension. I can hear the fans erupting inside. We gotta get it. Bro, the vibes in here are already insane. The energy is crazy. Rivalry game. There's actually so many Niners fans in here. I didn't expect that. This is probably the best Jumbotron in all of sports. We've already been in the stadium for like 20 minutes and we're still trying to find our way to our seats. This place is massive. Literally holds 100,000 people. Like, it's ridiculous. And the Rams got the touchdown. The stadium erupts. That was lit. We've made it to our seats. Check out the seats, man. The leg room, fire, the drink holder. Very nice. And the view is absolutely incredible. The vibes in here are insane. This is one of the loudest stadiums I've ever been in in my entire life. Louder than the baseball stadium. I mean, 100,000 people all yelling. It's crazy. How are you feeling about the seats? I love the seats. I don't think any seats in this whole stadium are bad. They all look good. Other than being like really high, but I mean, the screen is huge. Yeah, the screen is probably the best Jumbotron in any sports league ever. It has to be. It's a whole ring. Three 60, bro. It doesn't get better than that. It's super loud in here. You gotta review the food. This time I went with the meatballs. Back with the chicken tenders. Those look so good. I gave a five to the baseball, so we'll see. That's a good meatball, bro. I usually never just get meatballs, but this is so good. Uh, 
behind me. Dude, I wish I could give you guys at home some of my meatballs. Well, I, <laughs> I take that back. I'm gonna just have this all to myself. Let me try this. That's good. I got one at the baseball game. Way better than the baseball game. The Rams are my hometown team. I got a room for the Rams today. The 49ers are in scoring position. Defense! Oh no! 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 You got the 49ers scoring right now. Bang, bang, we just down for show. All right, let's see, let's see. No, it's gonna be a stop. Come on, defense! Niners got a field goal opportunity. Let's see what happens. <laughs> halftime score, Rams are up 14 to 10. They got the Jabberwockies for the halftime performance. This is so lit, they're awesome. I'm really enjoying this, but at the end of the video, we're gonna add up all of our scores and see who has the best, but this is lit. 4.9, go 49ers. I gave the food a four, but overall it's a five. Last time we went to NFL games, it was all preseason, but this is insanity. I can't believe it. This is so awesome. Can I try your binoculars? No way, bro. <laughs> this is insane. Going into the fourth quarter, the 49ers are up 70 to 14. Make a bet. I bet you a jersey. The Rams win. I'll take that off. The Niners got it. We got a jersey on the line. Can I get that same bet? Do it. I can only get you a Rams jersey though. Oh, Twenty dollar bet. Now I really need the Rams to win. and the team stores right behind him. We are here at Staples Center for the Lakers versus Nuggets game in the team store because I owe Johnny a jersey from last game. What do you want? A jersey. Which one? This is the one I'm picking. I used to have this when I was a kid, but that a smaller is... version. Why did I root for the Rams? I kept my 20 bucks though. Kept your 20. So I can, uh, I can get a soda. <laughs> Bad news, they had no chicken tenders, so that's minus a single point. I got carne asada tacos. Hey, that might be even better than chicken tenders. I don't know about that. So I went to a Knicks game last year, and they had the greatest pastrami sandwich I ever had in my life. It was so good. So I wanted to test out the LA pastrami sandwich. Look, test. Oh, man, that is dry. Oh, no. That's not a good sign. Worst food yet. I want to try a pastrami. That's your first ever pastrami sandwich, too. It'll be my last. This <laughs> taco. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. I like that one a lot. That might be my favorite so far. Try the pastrami. No. Oh. We made it to our seats. Check out the view. Absolutely insane view from our seats. And these are cushioned seats, fam. Look at this. Look at this cushion. Look at that. That is mm, so comfortable. The leg room. My knee is hitting, but. Yeah, Trav's good, so it's just a me problem. The view is absolutely fire. It's Jokic! Bro, well, this is gonna be a great game. Unfortunately, the NBA doesn't allow you to bring in nice cameras, so we're on our camera. <laughs> but it is what it is. The one thing I think the NBA does the best is the pregame is so exciting. Oh, look! Let's go! The Lakers haven't won one game this season yet, so hopefully we're the good luck charm. Hey! Oh, and 
Anthony Davis wins the tip. And we've officially been to three games, boys. We rated all three of our experiences on the fans, the food, the stadium, the seats, and the overall experience. Out of five, we put our scores together. Time for the moment of truth. The first game we went to, the MLB got an average score of 19.75. That's a solid score. NBA got a score of 18.2. And NFL got a score of 24.5. That new stadium was insane. The atmosphere, everything was great. Fastball is my favorite sport, but experience today, NFL took it. Let's go. Finally, we're at the home stretch. Only four more games to go, and we have 50 hours to do it. Let's do it all with NFL games. In the next 48 hours, I will be attempting to go to four NFL games. I don't even know if this is gonna be possible. If any of our flights get delayed or canceled, the whole video could be ruined, and that's happened to us before. So, prayers. I spent a lot on this video. The first game is the Cardinals versus the Broncos, and I got my tickets right here. Hey, my tickets! We made it inside the stadium. We got the cheapest seats possible. These seats cost us $6, but every single game, we're gonna have three challenges, and if we can complete all of them, we get better seats in the next game. All right, Jesse, the first challenge, what team is gonna win this game? No one's coming into the bird nest and taking a W. The home team Cardinals are winning. I don't wanna sit all the way up here again. Challenge number two, you have to buy a jersey. You have to give to a fan of the team within 30 seconds of walking out of the store. Okay, I can do that. I like this one. You guys like this one? I do, I like it. Nice, we're gonna get this one. Thank you. The timer right, starts I, now. I got the timer. Okay, I wanna find a subscriber as well. Um, how's it going? Good. Are you Good. subscribed? Yes, I am. Oh, bro, are you an Arizona fan? I am. My God, this is for you. Wait, did I? Brand new jersey, yes. You just said you were subscribed and a Cardinals fan. Yes, sir. Like, since too high. Oh my God, nice to meet you. Enjoy the jersey. Yes, let's go. Subscribe. Yes, sir. <laughs> And the 48 hours have officially started. The Broncos are about to get a field goal. And it's up. And it's good. He missed. He missed. He missed. He missed. He missed. <laughs> it looked good from here. Literally like two donuts right now. My boy missed his first field goal. This is a 40 yarder. I believe in it. All right, he kicked it. It's good. It's good. Oh, he missed. <laughs> Am I blind? Bro, this dude is trash. Oh, if I was the Broncos, I would sign Detroit. Detroit needs to be on a preseason roster. Sign him. Also, I don't even know if we're going to be able to stay for the whole fourth quarter. We're probably going to have to leave early to make our flight. We got a flight to catch. Oh, oh, oh! Exciting. That was the first touchdown. My absolute biggest fear is someone stepping on the new Bucket Squad shoes, which are available right now, only for a couple more days. What do you think of the shoes, bro? Oh, hey! I appreciate it. Apparently, Bucket Squad shoes are tough. I didn't say it, but I'm just saying. Broncos 10, Cardinals 0, and it's about to be halftime. Halftime challenge, Jesse. You have to find somebody in your favorite NFL team, the Dallas Cowboys, in their uniform right now. Okay, Cowboys jersey. See if we can find someone. The question is, do I just stand in one spot and look for people? Oh, oh, wait, is that Cowboys? Yeah! Hey, let's go, Cowboys! Let's go! We did it! That was so fast! Do we just go back to our seats? Like, I thought we were gonna be walking around the whole time. We found some new seats and some chicken to watch the second half at. It's crazy because later in the video we'll literally be the first seat and right now, this is the back of the stadium. The Cardinals just scored. It is 10 to 10. Let's go Cardinals. Let's go. That's not what I'm talking about. We tied it up. This is the best part of the game. Clutch time, but we literally have to leave right now because I don't want to get stuck here all night. Because if we don't catch this plane, we literally can't do any of the video. Yeah, we're not ending the video on game one. Any second now. Jesse, thank you for waiting. Oh, we made it. The Uber pickoff was like a mile from the stadium. So we are out of breath, we're sweating, but hopefully we'll be on time. Boys, not only are we sweating, this is our entire suitcase. It's in our bags, <laughs> we don't have a change of clothes. I refuse to miss my flight. We've made it to the gate. It's gonna board in about five minutes, but it's time to tell you guys the game plan. 
I need like a Ryan Trahan type edit right now, okay? We're about to fly to Chicago overnight, wake up in the morning, go to the arena, and then we're gonna have to leave at about half time because the airport's an hour plus away with rush hour traffic. Then we're going back to LA for the Rams versus Chargers game. Then we're gonna sleep there overnight, and in the morning we're going to Vegas to finish it off at the Raiders versus 49ers. And that's the game plan. Now we just have to execute. Good night, Phoenix. I'll see you in the morning, Chicago. Landed in Chicago. The sun hasn't even risen yet. It's five in the morning. We're on about three hours of sleep, but the game is at noon, so we got about seven hours to chill right now. And Arizona won, so we do get the seat upgrade at this game. Let's go. And we've made it to the stadium for game two. Johnny, what are the challenges for today? All right, your challenges for today, game number two. You gotta trade the Justin Field jersey to a Tennessee Titan fan for a Tennessee Titan article of clothing. That's gonna be very difficult. Probably gonna be impossible. One that's gonna be like almost probably impossible is dapping up the mascot, because where are you gonna see the mascot? Yeah, it's last time the mascot was only on the field. It's literally a bear. And we don't have field access, but I do have field. Walter Payton is sweet. It was his nickname, Sweetness. Excuse me, do you think I could uh, interest you in a trade? No. You, are you, not, not at all. This is a brand new, brand new Fields jersey. It was an instant no. I didn't even get to say what I was offering. Excuse me, boss, quick question. Would you be interested in trading me your Titans jersey for this brand new Fields jersey? I can't do that. You can't do it? All right, it's gonna be difficult. <laughs> There's not many, but they're loyal. <laughs> that is true. I got a Fields jersey at home. Ah, all right, you already had a Justin Fields jersey, but we were close. What are we, 0-5 right now? Uh, it's already signed, sorry. It's signed? Ah, yeah, oh, of course it's signed. A signed Jess or Justin Fields jersey <laughs> might be even better. I feel like we are so close to trading this jersey, but so far. Johnny, the mascot, he's right there. This is our moment to get the high five. Dude, I thought that was just a bear. <laughs> Can I get a high five? Yeah! We did it! Challenge completed. I wanted to see if you'd be interested in trading me your Titans jersey shirt for this Fields jersey. I'm Titans. Yeah! Oh, okay. Loyalty. You know what? I gotta give you props. But you don't have a new jersey, so that's tough. It's okay. It's a 3 and 12 last Damn! Okay. Absolutely not. No? What about your boy? Would you trade? No? I see another one right here. I'm gonna have to pass this one. Oh. All right, boys, what do we do? It's getting painful out here. Brand new Justin Fields jersey. What do we do? I feel like I need to get a hat. Would you trade your your Titans hat for the Justin Fields jersey? No, no way. Not even a hat, bro. Yeah, this is almost impossible, it seems. <laughs> NFL fans are way more loyal than NBA fans. Whenever I do this for NBA videos, it's like, boom, I got the jersey. Like three people. Oh, I can't. Oh, do you want to do it? No, thank you. Uh, you, would you be interested in trading me your hat for this brand new <laughs> Justin Fields jersey? It's a steal, it's a steal right? It's a steal. it's a steal. You're down? Yeah. Let's go. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's been done. Great trade. I appreciate it. Yes! That's what I'm talking about, bro. It only took about 20 people. Hey, you know what would have been really easy, though? If the challenge was trade bucket squat shoes for literally anything because who wouldn't trade for these bad boys? We really need to get all the challenges done as fast as possible because we're gonna have to leave at halftime to make it to our flight, and then we are probably gonna make it to the LA game at halftime there. It's gonna be a tight squeeze, hopefully no delays. Yeah, this is gonna be really tough. Dude, this is actually such a beautiful stadium. We've made it to our seats, and we have a major seat upgrade compared to last game. They are absolutely beautiful. Middle of the field. In the shade. That is true, we are in the shade, no sunburning happening. I want to be down there though. I completely challenge it, Jesse. Give me one. I want to see you on the field. On the field. Still a little bit of time before the game. You can get on the field. On the field. All right, I'm plotting right now. You know what? I'll be right back. I'm going to find a way. I'm going to figure this out. I think I actually have a way to get on the field. I met a fan who subscribed to me. I think he's going to be able to help me. It's my boy Tyler right here. What did you invite me to do? Wave the flag at the stadium. On the field? Oh my gosh, let's go. My boy had a plus one, he hooked me up. Everyone comment, Tyler is a legend. All right guys, we are down here with the flag in the tunnel. We're going out into the field, it's really happening. We've made it onto the field. We're doing it. This is crazy. 
Bro, bro, is that him? <laughs> That's crazy. How do you get on the field? We made it to the middle of the field. Mission accomplished. That was so cool. Shout out to my boy Tyler, bro. Posted up. I bet the boys were so confused how I ended up on the field. Y'all see me on the field, huh? Yeah, the field. How? The what? <laughs> That's all the challenges, right? Mascot, the trade, the field. We get an upgraded season, baby. Let's go. This has actually been such a good game. It's 14 to 14. It's so high scoring compared to the Arizona game. It's been lit. Our boy is knocked, bro. Oh, so weak. Uh, he's out. <laughs> There's two minutes left in the half, then we're out of here. We gotta rush to the airport. Flights are always delayed, and we're literally gonna land like 40 minutes after tip off. If this is where we fail the challenge, it's going to LA. They're taking way too long to get to halftime. We gotta go. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. Sorry for the confusion. We made it through security. We're on the escalator right now, and our flight is literally already boarding. Go, go, go. I will not be stuck in Chicago. We made it, but we're not in the air yet. You never know. The plane might just not leave. Hey, man. Relax. Next stop, yeah, Los Angeles. We just touched down in LA. It is currently halfway through the first quarter of the Rams game. We got a driver ready to take us straight to the stadium. For this game, if we get all three challenges right, we get field access for the final game. So what's the first challenge? We don't even know how it's going on, so you got to predict the yeah, winner of the game right now. Right all right, right now. Rams, Rams, hey, home team. Better late than never, boys. We just made it to the arena, to the stadium. I keep calling them arenas. This guy goes to too many basketball yeah. games. Good news, it's still the second quarter. Bad news, the Chargers are up 13-0. The Rams to win to be on the field next game. The Rams are on the goal line. If it's a touchdown, we'll know. I think that's a touchdown. Our tickets get us down to the bottom level of the stadium. They have a bunch of bars and restaurants. It's really nice. So, what does the risk Baron give us? Unlimited food and drinks. Unlimited food and drinks come with our seats. What? That's insane. We have made it to our seats. It literally might not get better than this. The view is insane. We are so close to the field. The Chargers are currently in the red zone with 30 seconds left. This is not good for me. I need the Rams to win. All right, Chargers on the eight. Are they scoring this play? I think so. They got man coverage all the way across. I think they're going to number one, maybe. There it is, number one. You literally called it. What? I don't know anything that's going on in football. <laughs> we need the Rams to come back so we can get floor access. Now that it's halftime, our seats do come with club access with unlimited food and drink. So we're gonna go check that out. <laughs> we're eating so good. Buffalo cauliflower, yes sir. And they have smoked brisket. I am eating ridiculously good. This is insane. <laughs> Boys, the food is ridiculous. The brisket is so good, actually. I need to grab a fork, but that is delicious. We just ate very good, but now it's time for a challenge. Your challenge for both of you guys, you gotta beat a mom and rock, paper, scissors. I'm so bad, bad at rock, paper, scissors. I'm yeah. pretty bad, too. Okay. We got this, though. What do I get? If you beat me, I'll give you five bucks. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! I owe her five. Five, it's five, it's five. All right, one game on shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, you suck at this game. Good game. I hate this game. Over two, over two. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes, good game, good game. I've completed it, now it's up to you, Johnny. I'll tell you right now, I'm going rock every time. While Johnny is on the hunt for a mother, what is the final challenge? You gotta get on the jumbo. Get on the jumbo tron. I don't know how I'm gonna do this one. Pray I pull this off, boys. On shoot, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. what I tell you? what I tell you? Oh! <laughs> All right, now boys, how do we get on the Jumbotron? Please! Please! No! All right, Rams come back. They get this field goal. They're only down 10. Let's go! Nice. Yeah! Hey, they can come back. It's clutch time. 
No. Boys, bad news. The escalators we took <laughs> kicked yeah. us out of the stadium. And it's the fourth quarter. Everyone's leaving. So to be fair, we are going to make all four games, but we're just not going to get better seats than we had today. But today's seats were awesome. The Rams are going to lose. So we only completed one of the challenges today. We're going to do a magic trick right now. We're going to jump and we're going to end up in Las Vegas. All right. Three, two, one. Johnny. Where did you go? Oh my God, where am I? Johnny didn't end up in Vegas with me. We got Jason though, my boy. Hi. We're currently walking over to the stadium right now. It's like a hundred degrees out here. There it is, still about 10 minutes away, but it is sick, bro. I'm so excited to see inside that stadium. Looks like a cereal bowl. Big black cereal bowl. We've made it in. It is huge. Who you got? I mean, I got 49ers. the 49ers. I got the 49ers too. 49ers. Let's go. Let's go. So our tickets come with access to the Twitch lounge, which is super cool. They got a bunch of bars. They got one back there. They got one up front right here. This is sick. For stadium food, look at this. They got the brisket, the sirloin. Oh my God. Oh, he's going for it. Oh my God. This is the best stadium food you'll ever get. <laughs> This is for sure better than SoFi's brisket. Raiders, you win. That's so good. What the hell? Like, I give that a nine out of 10. So we didn't get the pregame field access, but our seats are absolutely bonkers. This is ridiculous. This is probably the craziest seats I'll ever have in my life. And guys, we've made it to all four games. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see me go to three NFL games in 24 hours, it's popping up. You're going to want to see it. It was crazy. And yeah, I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Peace.